PX41CX is the latest model in Alex's PX series of modern hardware emulating classic HB calculators. This video provides a quick overview of the PX41CX. The PX41CX is a modern replica of the classic HP 41CX programmable calculator released in 1983. The implementation runs the original HP 41CX operating system ROMs by implementing an emulator of the HP NUT processor. The PX41CX also supports up to 12 optional ROM modules, which are encapsulated within the PX41CX Intel HEX format firmware file. These modules can be virtually plugged in and ejected from the PX41CX menu system as required. The PX41CX is based on the microchip AVR128DA microcontroller which is faster and has more RAM and flash than the AT Mega 328, which was used in the PX15C, PX16C, and PX41C. The PX41CX emulates the original HP41CX with two extended memory modules, the maximum memory configuration possible. Alex sent me a final prototype of the PX41CX to test. The only differences with the version soon to be released are cosmetic, including different colour front and back options. Features of the PX41CX include emulation of the HP41CX with two extended memory modules, the ability to load up to 12 ROM modules at a time that can then be virtually loaded and ejected from the calculator as required, save and load capability of the calculator state using the DM41X dump load file format, a high contrast 250 by 122 pixel LCD display, uh, which you can see here compared with the PX41C, the DM41X and the original HP41C. Further features include a screenshot capability, flash upgradable for new features, bug fixes and changing ROM modules and other options, configurable speed between eight and 32 megahertz, in Queens, for example, runs in 1 minute 56 seconds compared to 1 minute 54 seconds on the DM41X running on battery. So very comparable for an 8-bit processor versus a 32-bit processor. It has configurable display options, X, XA, XY, XYZT, similar to the DM41X. Custom user information can also be configured and displayed on the four lines of 31 characters in the info screen in the menu. There's a custom splash screen for power off, which can be uh, turned on and turned off. And physically, the calculator includes a reset port at the top, battery, a USB serial port, and a switch to determine whether the calculator is in state dump or load or flash mode. We'll have a look at some of the options. So we click the menu and then we can go to display. And from there we can just select showing X only, X and Y, X and alpha, or the whole stack. Uh, the view option lets you see the registers easily and scroll through them all. Flags, gives you a list of all the flags and the bold ones are set. If we go more configuration, here you can turn on the key press beep. You can change the sleep setting for when the calculator goes to sleep and you can configure the speed. So eight megahertz, 16 megahertz, 24 megahertz and 32 megahertz. And you can see here that you can turn on or off the uh, splash screen on power off. We go back to the info screen. You can see the uh, firmware version details. And there's four configurable lines there where I've entered my YouTube channel name. Now, if we go back to modules, we can see what's loaded in memory at the, at the moment. You can see the operating system is installed and you go to the next set of pages, you can see the Advantage module is installed and the uh, AMC OSX module. 
and also library 4 is installed which is required by the uh, AMC OSX module. So if we exit the menu we can demonstrate some of the features of those ROMs so display test which is from the AMC OSX module and you can see that uh, it lights up the whole display, just like the original 41C. And another feature of the AMC OSX module is we can look at the ROM version that's being used, the OSREV command. And we can see it's running ROM NFL. Now we go back in and we change the modules, we'll remove OS X, so we can eject library 4, eject OS X, and load Zenrom. Now after changing the modules, you need to power cycle, and then the new modules will be at active. Oops, wrong catalog. So you can see advantage module is still there and you can see Zenrom is now loaded. So with Zenrom we can directly enter synthetic commands. So we go to program, we can go recall dot m to do synthetic commands, and we can also enter synthetic strings. Directly from the keyboard. And uh, the PX41CX also supports synthetics as demonstrated with those commands there. So we can do things like running the goose backwards. So you can see the um, backwards flying goose example from uh, Wix synthetic programming book. Uh, now, if we go back in and change the modules again, um, and I'll remove Zenrom, eject, and I'll plug in fourth. So fourth uses a page four page and uh, another page that can be anywhere else. So we load that, exit the menu, power cycle. You can see the custom splash screen there that I've changed from the default. And we load up again and we look in the catalog. We can see fourths there. And we execute fourth. And by default, fourth is in hex mode. So if we enter two numbers plus print the results, run, we get F. And so I've done another video on fourth on the 41C and DM41X before and uh, fourth is very responsive on the PX41CX like it is on the DM41X whereas on the original 41C it's, uh, it's very sluggish. We can exit fourth. And um, the advantage module we can enter X numbers which are assigned to a key and then we can display an octal so we can use all the advantage features as well. Alex has developed an excellent implementation of the classic HP41CX calculator. The PX41CX is a fast modern implementation of the HP41CX calculator with maximum memory and the ability to load a range of ROM modules and swap them in and out as required. The PX41CX will be available pre-built or in a kit. 
Alex has added several features in the short time I have had the PX41CX and has been quick to resolve any minor bugs I have found. So I expect he will continue to refine and enhance the PX41CX firmware. See the video description for more information, including links to the firmware update and splash screen decoding utilities I have developed. I will post more detailed videos, including demonstrating how to use these utilities soon. If you like this or any of my other videos, please subscribe. Thank you.